Good morning, friends. It's great to be with you this morning. I'm Bob, bringing you another reflection on, well, at this point in time, we're looking at this idea of joy and being in Christ. And yesterday I read to you from Ephesians chapter 1, and Paul just does this giant run-on sentence that that is all of this stuff that's deposited in your account, all of this stuff that becomes yours when you put your trust in Jesus, all this stuff that is actions on God's side of things that, that really you only have to accept and rest in. So here's the deal. I, I want to ask that you would go back and read Ephesians chapter 1, verses about 3 through 15 or so, 3 through 14. I want to ask that you would do that and that you would rest in it. There's, it's one thing to be in Christ positionally and to be united with Christ before God. That's how God sees you, all those different things. It's another thing for you and I to cooperate and to actually affirm back to the Lord, Lord, I'm now in Christ and Christ is in me. I, it's, it's easier for us to get the idea that, that Christ lives in you now by the Spirit, but it's harder to think that, wait, I'm in Christ. And so Jesus said things like, Father, I'm in you and you're in me. In John 17, he prays that. Father, you're in me and I am in you. So there's this dwelling, this mutual dwelling that's going on. But it's the same kind of a thing that happens when we're talking about being in Christ. Uh, that in Christ, in him, in the Lord, in uh, in Jesus, all of those things, uh, in him, in the beloved, all of those things are saying essentially the same kind of a thing that you are now enveloped into Christ. You have not just participated in work that wasn't yours, but that you are now enveloped into him and you need to cooperate with that. Now, how do you do that? I think for me, sometimes my RPMs are going so furiously that I, I uh, can, it can just kind of blow right by me. And one of the things that I often do is I just have to sit and rest and agree with God. I have to sit with him. And, uh, you know, for me, sometimes it's, you know, it's it's uh, four minutes. Sometimes it's fourteen minutes on my on my clock on my, on my stop. You know, my timer on my uh, phone. I'll use that. But I have to sit down and actually just tell my soul, "Hey, agree, you're loved," and to speak it back to the Lord. Lord, I'm I'm in Christ now. I'm in you. You're not just in me. I'm in you. I've been raised with you. And we start to make those confessions aloud to the Lord. We don't just make them inside of our head. We make them aloud because there's something about what you say that directs the, the course of your life and your thinking. And so you say that out loud. You cooperate with and you rest in. Uh, you rest in being in Christ. I want to ask that you would take some time today might not be a long time, but take enough time to to actually sit there. And, and, and at, at the beginning, you're going to feel like, gosh, I'm just absolutely bored, stiff, or I'm so distracted. It takes a little while to get your soul into that place of agreement, but it's worth it. So work at it. Continue to work at it. You are, you are in Christ, and Christ is in you. But we need to help you dial into the idea, to the fact that you are that you are in him as well. Thanks so much for joining me today. I love you. God bless you.